I've been talking a lot about employment as a partnership, kind of looking at it from employer side, employee side, looking at how managers see things. You know, they're kind of sandwiched and we forget that they're sandwiched between their supervisors and the business as well as their employees. But what I want to get into in this video is some of the math that employees don't always think about when they are going in for an interview and looking for a particular salary or demanding a raise or just demanding more opportunities. I'm Nancy Schick of 30 Year Conflict Resolution. I'm an employment attorney and mediator based in New York City for the past 21 years. And I do math a lot with my clients. I want to start with the salary. We're going to just take, for example, somebody that's making 20 hours, uh, I'm sorry, $20 an hour for 40 hours a week. That's $41,600, right? Let's say that's your base salary. That's not all your employer is investing in you. I want you to be aware of that. Why? Not because I'm trying to make you feel bad about your employer spending money on you. It's that you have to know that they're investing in you so that when you're asking for more, you can speak their language. That's a classic negotiation tool. You want to consider that they're also paying for your workers' compensation, disability. If you're in New York, you're getting paid family leave insurance, sick pay, training, payroll taxes, and then there's just the basic administration and equipment. Maybe if you're going into an office, maybe you need an ergonomic desk. There's a lot of investment in there. You throw, oh, I forgot about health insurance. You throw health insurance in there too. Now you're taking that $41,600 and you're adding it up with all those other costs. You're costing your employer maybe $52,900 or more. When you're asking for more, be prepared to talk about the value you can bring to your employer, how you're going to be able to bring in at least twice of what they're paying you. They have to be able to still have a profit or else you don't have a job. Again, I tell you this because this is how you get in the head of the other side. That's how you get what you want is by creating employment as a partnership. If you want some tips on how to do that, of course, hit that subscribe button below. There are plenty of videos where you can schedule a consultation. In the meantime, keep listening with your third ear for those hurts you can heal.